Good evening, everyone. Here we are. I guess we're playing Satisfactory tonight. <sighs> there we go. All right. So, sorry for cancelling and then uncancelling. That's just my fickle nature. I was, um, yeah, at a concert. My daughter was playing in a concert and I hadn't didn't remember that when I booked the weeks, uh, the streams for the week. So I had to cancel and then the last time it went like two hours over time, but this time it did not go over time. So not that much. So it's still possible, but I didn't want to cancel or just make a delay and then turn out that I actually have to cancel it instead. That would kind of suck. So I'd rather cancel and then, yeah, well, if it, we make it, then it's a short bonus stream. So there we go. Uh, concert, uh, music or a show? Uh, music. She's playing piano. And usually drums, but piano today. Um, where are we? Let's figure out what we did last time and see if we can... Oh, I know what we need to start with. We need to start with... Well, obviously this wasn't that hasn't been completed. We're still working on the hard drive here. How much time? Six and a half minutes. Well, I can stall for six and a half minutes. There we go. Look, we have Blade Runners. And we have this monstrosity. Hmm, yes. What did we do? What did we do last time? Well, we did a lot of back and forth. It was a morning stream. So, in case you missed it, we now have power or coal power. Not magnificent, but still pretty nice. Uh, oh, yeah, with you. Yeah, so last time we built this. This is going to be the modular frame build. However, I realized that the recipe for modular frames is requiring... Uh, reinforced iron plate and the way I've designed it I am not allowed to do reinforced iron plates locally so I have to bring it in from the dedicated reinforced iron plate factory so with much uh, back and forth much chagrin uh, we actually managed to we started building something with trucks and that turned out to be like the worst idea ever we didn't build the trucks but we started laying it out and that turned out to be just bad idea upon bad idea so what it, we did instead is we doubled it up here. Modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Ah, we also have a best of you for the continuing a gift sub from Vitoli. That's awesome. Thank you for that. And also, wow, there's new layout here in the activity feed. That's really crazy. Looks strange. No, nope, that's me being having an open thing here. Anyway, uh, and Ratpatik, thank you very much. Eight months of Twitch Prime. That is amazing that you can remember that every month. Or maybe not every month. Hey, Volta. Good evening to you. Right, so you can see here, we built, we doubled up the production of our... No, didn't we? Did we? We almost doubled it, but we didn't quite double it. What we did was we actually took out a belt here going that way, going up, going around, going over, going down, going up here. So now at least we have reinforced iron plates. Then we need to get the iron from somewhere over here to make the iron rods. And we'll make that, we'll make the smelting on the ground floor, bring it up here, build the rods, and then build maybe two for modular frames. Not a lot, but just enough to get the ball rolling. And this, this location is actually directly underneath the path of the manta. But since the Manta is flying so high at this point, or at the point when it crosses, it's not going to be a problem. I can even put one or two more floors on it without any problem. Right, so the first thing we want to do is finish up the green thing here, so that we can actually get a consistent, that's a reinforced iron plate, get a consistent supply of reinforced iron plates both here, and we actually need to bring it into this location as well, but let's cross that bridge when we get there. On top of that, we... Uh, after that, we will build, complete this tower so we have modular frames, which is kind of a nice thing, but not extremely useful. So I'm going to jump out and switch to parachute midair because I'm awesome or lucky. And let's switch back because we don't need it. And let's go. So we also did... What was this again? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. We did actually do this. Oh, this is where we ran out of time. This is cool. We'll do this first. Whee! Look at this. This is reinforced iron plate, Angmas. That's a lot of arm wiggle. What is a lot of arm wiggle? Oh yeah, on the way down. And this one looks horrible, but they are actually connected, which means we can go up here, bouncy bouncy. 
All right, that means the first thing we do is go all the way up again. Uh, our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Old, odd, crazy stuff. Thank you very much for the two months. Thank you, thank you. And good to see you here. So this is our iron plates. And that needs to go over here, which is extremely easy, even for me. But is it though? Is it? <gasps> Look, if I did that, oh my god, you would just, everyone would unsub immediately. There we go. Now that will fill up. It is deliberate that I take a bad belt. Or a belt. So now we have ta -da! the mall is or the hub. This is a hub. We'll we'll try also in Factorio to call uh, call it the hub because I like that name much better because this is the center of our network. So hence it should be called the hub. And it's also the hub building, so there we go. I wish there was a way to connect the output side of the lifts to the conveyor walls. Oh yeah, yeah, they, they do snap, but they don't look, they look like shit. Right, and then the next one is actually, what should we do? Oh yeah, not this way, actually. Uh, this is the lot of the arm wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <sighs> and back again. Wish there was hotkeys for this. Is this the new version update from two days ago or something like that? Yes, it is. Though I don't really see a difference. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. All right, so this one is not working because I am up here. Oh, I love this build. This is so cool. See, this one is ready and waiting. And everything is wired up, it's set the right way, it has power, it's just good to go, except we don't have enough iron ore down here, or iron ingots, that's what we are going to do now. So we need to get this out, oh, I've already put it here, nice. Oh, not so nice. Mm. Why? <sighs> All right, it has to be done from the top, I guess. It is still rather fickle to get this thing working. Or finicky, I think it would, that would be better term. So we go. Bloop. And then we go down. Ah, no. All right. So this actually has to be all the way at the edge. There. Then I think it'll be, then it'll snap slightly further out, which is exactly as far out as I want. Yeah, just screw it. I'm going to go down and I'm going to take a bit of damage just to make absolutely sure we get it right. And that should be going up, but who knows? No one can tell if this one's going up or down. We'll just bet that it's working and then get on with it. All right, so here. Oh, that's so funny. This one is wiggly and on the top it's wiggly. So it's wiggle one way and then it wiggles the other way. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So, boom, now we built stuff. One, two. That one's fine. And this one. One, two. I think this is actually working. Uh, sorry? What? Why? I got the wrong way. I'm an idiot. I 
I'm still holding the other end of the lift in my hand. Ta-da! Good stuff. You built it the wrong way, you idiot. Thank you, Stonosko. I can always count on you for a, a, a cheer me up message. Hey, HMS Laum. Good evening and nice to see you all this evening. Yep, it's a bit smaller crowd, but that's because I'm unfair and cancel and then uncancel, which is not very nice, by the way. And next up, Ingrid Inga, and let me just remember. They're only operating at 50% because they're pathetic. All oh, right, yeah, awesome. And uh, it's just an impossible place to walk. 50. Ah, uh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, 50. I'm building a nice complex pattern, but it does have the disadvantage that I can't move around. Hmm, can't have it all. This one is almost done and again we only built the bad ones one two there and that means we need the next one oh, this is not gonna work but who cares we'll find out we'll deal with that when we get there uh let's see i want this to be here one two One, two. No. Ah, so much for me trying to save something. One, two. It's all about making sure that the corners are correct. There we go. The corners are correct. Nope. It is not correct. Uh, <laughs> funny. That one doesn't belong there. That one doesn't belong there. Oh, no. This goes the other way. This is this way. So it's just a matter of building so fast that I lose track of what I'm doing. Excellent. All right, I like it. I think it works. All we need now is wire up the next. Oops, that is, which one is that? That's the, that must be the middle one. All right, cool. Oh, look how confident we are. Look how confident we are. So unreasonably confident. And can anyone remember a good quote from Darkest Dungeon that applies to this situation? Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. You illiterate fools. Over overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That is not a only. That is a, applies to everything. Everything in everything in life. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, this one is just cranking away. Sixty per minute. we go now we play the waiting game up oh, don't want to fall down I did that one doesn't belong let's get up as a lot of you have no idea what darkest dungeon is oh god how can you call yourself a regular around here I don't know call, do you call yourself a regular regular around here hey McFeeds good evening there there you go this is not in Mark 4 belt, in, in case anyone should think that this is running so fast that we can't really keep up. Yeah, we can keep up. Well, a new, um, I love Darkest Dungeon, great, awesome. You have noticed that my, whenever we get a new sub or donations, um, 
I feel a downgrade incoming. Yeah, my, maybe. Or maybe I'll, I'll force you to uh, watch 67 times one hour stream VODs of Darkest Dungeon on YouTube. Just so you are caught up. Oh, there we go. There it is. The plane is overhead. No, I love that game. I absolutely love the game. But it's it's a game like so many others that you're gonna run out of it any uh, at some point. <laughs> my feed on my new series, yeah, okay. So you're at episode eight and this would be episode twenty three. So yeah. There's still uh, a bit. Waiting for the second part. Yes. Uh, Darkest Dungeon 2 has been announced. And it's awesome. And it has Wayne June as the narrator. So I am already looking. I am so hyped for that game. It can only be a disappointment. But it doesn't matter. I'm so hyped for it. It is, it is a perfect combination of simple mechanics. Fantastic story. And the best voice acting of any game, I dare say, at least in my opinion, not objectively, but in my opinion. Oh, you're painting. What are you painting? Like uh, Bob Ross painting or painting the bathroom or, or... Or maybe both. Maybe Bob Ross has... has... Uh, has painted his bathroom as well. With happy little <laughs> accidents. No. Why you no work? Why you no work? All right. Yeah, we built all that one and clearly not working because I forgot. That one can't do anything. This one. You can go to that one. All right, cool. And you can go to that one. Not that one. This is a play on the way. Uh, did that work? What? Oh yeah, it's because I have to go to this. So, from this to... This to this. Yeah. That should bring... One, two, they're working. This one, certainly working. And that one, certainly working. Great, so this is now coming out. And we can now run upstairs. And I know that it's a bit silly since the other one was was blocked, but I can't really be relying on everything always being saturated and blocked. So I have to sort of say, you know, when the whole thing gets running, this one is is only producing. Ah, oh, never mind. Not this one. This one over here is producing seven and a half. The other one's seven and a half. But when the modular frame is gonna is going is really going then it'll consume 12. So I must have two of these. And for that, I can see that someone made a mistake. Someone uh, fixed one and not the other one. Never mind, we'll, we'll get that done. Uh, that's gonna be right here. Because I wanted it a bit more compact. Like this, I guess. That's about right. And we can go in and we can go in. So that was easy. And that's going to be reinforced and picked. Good stuff. That will now go, go out into a merger. Pointing the other way. There. And that's going to work. Of course, this will... Whoa. Whoa. No power? Oh, that's such so shameful. Shameful indeed. And this one also does not have power. Yeah, so... Oops. All of these were idle, but they shouldn't have been idle. They should actually have been busy, busy, busy. Busy little bees. So now I've kicked it off again. We have a bit stored here. And that's now starting. It's pushing out this way, which goes out here, going to the hub. See? I remember the name. Over there to the hub. That's that line here. And this way. Going down. Let's jump. Oh, Vichu, you're you don't like horror games, <laughs> and you're still watching <laughs> Close to the Sun. So, how do you like the Close to the Sun? 
both from a game and story perspective and from a let's play perspective. I don't like any of it. It sucks. It's awful. Let's go back to the Blade Runners. Let's continue. Follow this belt. Nope, I missed. Ooh, I like the fact that I'm I'm kind of I'm not gonna say efficient, but um, I'm I'm working fast. I'm thinking fast. I'm working fast. And I'm I'm probably making mistakes fast, but it's all fast. It's all good. Whee! There we go. Stay effective. Yes, indeed. It's too quiet, but I turned the volume down and reading. Seriously? I took damage from Read the captions instead. But then you can't hear my reactions. <laughs> Alright, so this floor is way too big, but we are going out here to find some iron. Can read your actions, <laughs> and I've also I noticed when I was uh, editing it, <laughs> like there's some point when a something scary happens, you can just see my <laughs> my whole body just jitters, and that of course uh, was reflected in the camera movement. <laughs> just like <"Gah." laughs> it's um it's awesome. It it has. It has a perfect sense of of impending doom because games like that have to make you feel <laughs> nice try, uh, Patrick. Uh, they have to make you feel uh, not not unpowered. <laughs> what is it? Uh, oh, <laughs> what is it? Yeah, you, yeah. What what the hell is the worth of of? Uh, no, not exactly the opposite of empowered. Powerless. Yes, powerless. You have to feel powerless so that you know that you can't do anything. You just have to run. There we go. So we got this. Let's think about it. And by thinking about it, I mean built one here so we can test it or just get a sense of it. This is the modular frame. I don't have the alternate modular frame, though I could maybe get it and that might be waiting for us back at the site. Hmm. Should we go back? I think we should. I think we just have to run back a bit. Oh, hold on. Uh, it's always a good idea just to figure out what it is it actually is. So if I... If I you Click, damn you. No, click. There we go. <clears throat> 12 of these. This is what we're producing. Offside, 24 of these. That means we actually only need... If we only have one, and I don't... I only think we have one, then I might have two. So that will require 24 per minute, which is absurdly more than I'm producing. I'm producing 15. We're talking reinforced iron plates. And... I don't like games where you're really powerless and just going on for a ride. It seems that you have no possible way to avoid a disaster. Hey! Hello! What are you doing? Eh, not much. Uh... Yeah, I, I understand that. I, I can totally relate to that. And a lot of times we play computer games to feel powerful. And I, but I do like the story. It's uh, I feel Detroit Become Human had exactly the same sense of it. And, and even, even more and even better, obviously. Because... Uh, um, yeah, because you were playing as androids and the androids literally could not do anything to humans. And they could not disobey humans. It was just, it was awesome. Whoa, that's a lot of junk. Ha, I got alternate rotors. I don't want that. I want that one. 
it's a longer term thing. Iron wire is so nice. But I don't think I need iron wire right now. I think this one is one of the very best ones you can get. So this is one our to-do list to absolutely must get. Boop, boop. There you go. We can quick wire it up. Let's go 23 and a half minutes. We don't have anything else going on in our life, so. And, oh, there we go. I do love this. I do love this. I love being in this phase of the game where this is happening. Oh, Gary Wilson. Hey, first time I watched live. Really enjoying your satisfactory videos and also the portal. Bring back memories. Thank you, Gary. This is very nice of you to say that because most of the comments on my portal videos are, oh my god, you fucking retard. Can you seriously not figure it out? It's so easy. Oh my god, what the fuck is up wrong with you? Are you stupid or what? And that kind of, kind of, kind of gets a bit strained to listen to for too long. So thank you for, um, yeah, YouTube comment section is toxic. It really is. So yeah, uh, that toxicity I can do without. So it's nice to get some balance with someone saying that's actually... Oh yeah, I'd like to say, I'd like to uh, get that credit of mini the parachute minigame. It's definitely a, a fun stuff. What's your opinion on not being able to handcraft alts anymore? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Just uh, the, Anything they do to discourage handcrafting i uh, I think that's good because it is too dominant right now. So anything we can come up with to limit the amount of handcrafting is a good thing in my book. Says the filthy handcrafter. Hey yo, the Slask. Oh Gary Wilson, you've also been screaming at the screen. Of course, we all have. And and the same with the witness. But there's also a, there's a difference between come on get it and and the part where where like just because you, someone played it and figured out all of the things. Remember, and and I don't say this as an as an excuse. Playing the witness and playing portal, there is a tremendous amount of additional stress. Stress maybe the wrong word, but pressure when streaming. Because I can't just leave things behind. I can't just say, eh, I'm kind of stuck. I, I don't feel like it. Oops. I don't feel like it. I'm going to do it some some other day. Because when you get started, you're committed. And that was especially tough with uh, The Witness. Because there are so tough puzzles. And I just had to do it. I just had to get through there. <sighs> Forgot to bring some concrete. Hey, Thoso! Well, late, uh, yes, but that's my fault because I uh, started too late. Sorry. Man, are we running a lot back and forth. Can you guys remem remind me of the things I need to bring so I don't have to run back and forth so much? Because this is getting a bit out of hand. Ah, let's see. In order for us to build stuff, we need more stuff. Okay, that we get. We need more concrete, and that's a given. Only thing, only place we get concrete is back up there, so we have to go back. All the things, simple as that. Well, actually, it isn't all the things. That's the problem. It's only certain things, but usually the certain things is concrete. Good stuff. And I'll just go. We don't want to hit that one. Thank you, because we just have to go in and get deliver our stuff here you also got a buggy no I don't not yet not by a long shot it's very far out I don't know why we're beeping we don't want that one we don't want the static noise device we'll take that one just because we stay on target only problem I have when I watch your stream I forget that I have my game running. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's pretty much always the case when you're watching a stream. You're either not really paying attention to the stream or you're not really paying attention to your own game. It's kind of hard to do both at full efficiency. What else? We have some of this. 
We have some of that. I think the rest will be iron plates that we need. There we go. I don't want that one. There. Good. I have no idea. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome. I just love that design. Have you seen the new Splitter Merger design? Yeah, I don't really see much difference. The have quest, the teleporter, yeah, that, um, not totally unreasonable request, I would say. Oh, I can't really take that out. Oh, hold on. Let's get that one. Unfortunately, I have to run around with this slashy slashy in hand because I need to. And we decided this was the location. That's like the worst location ever. Um, I think I want it coming in from this side because if it get in from that side then it can go up here like that one so I need it in from this side which is kind of okay I guess hello nature Goodbye, nature. Oh crap, my inventory. Doesn't work, right? No, it won't pick it up. Because of this. Okay, uh, let's go. We'll do this one. Next emote will not be that. Uh, next emote will be something cheerful, something happy, something encouraging, like whoop or hype or something. And not a static noise device, please. And we can only build Mark 1 because Mark 2 requires steel and we are not there yet. What? There's the. There. Okay, so that's not working for some reason. Oh, you want to hear something fun? <laughs> uh, at least fun in my book. Uh, so today, my since my daughter was going to the um, to oops, did it fit? No, didn't fit. I have no idea where that went. No idea at all. Anyway, um, was going to the concert. I had some time with my son at home, and again, I misplaced it somewhere. Uh, so we were just making dinner, and it was good and it's fun, and then. Uh, he's he wanted to help with the dinner which is awesome to cook dinner and then I asked him to get some milk for himself and a beer for me so he goes can't afford of course not uh, so he goes to the fridge grabs a beer takes it out of the fridge still with the fridge open turns to me with a stern look dad are you going to drive today that's so awesome. He's six years old. <laughs> he was like, like, I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> I thought that was so good because I'm always telling him that no more than one beer and you're allowed to drive. And, and he was like, Dad, are you going to drive today? <laughs> I just absolutely loved it. It was so cool. So, no one tell that he doesn't listen because <laughs> he sure as hell listened. <laughs> So there's no chance of me becoming a, a drunk driver because my six-year-old son is already keeping a watchful eye on me. I think that was awesome. <laughs> but now that I tell the story, I do realize that it, it can come off as, oh my god, that when, when you drink so much that even your six-year-old son thinks you have a problem or realizes you have a problem, then it's probably not good. <laughs> That's the other conclusion to that. <laughs> and, you know, not me streaming, my son streaming on parents, <laughs> how to train your parents. Yeah, 
Yes, after my dad lost, lost his job, he has been prone to playing computer games in the evening and drinking, talking to imaginary friends online. I really, really have to do something about it. So we, the first thing we did was we quarantined all alcohol in, in house, so he won't get, he won't get, uh, get tempted. Something along those lines. How to raise your parent. But he is a good kid. It was just so funny that it was that stern look of Dad, are you going to drive today? I thought it was fun. We need a few. Can we get that one now? Yeah, we can. Good. So. This is good. These will come out on one uh, one line. Yeah, one line. There's no point in overdoing this. Okay, I need to get that one out of the way. I don't want a static noise generator. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. Oh yeah, this is kind of silly that you have to do this one. Let's take it out. Then you can get have an empty hand. Right, so... Um, hmm. I don't think I want to get it in here, but I don't think I want to get it in anywhere else either. Might take this one. This is strange. Yes. So do we bring it into the middle or do we bring it into the side? I think we bring it into the side because there will be two more out here and maybe they'll come in. Or not. The middle, right? Because that means we can... Is that That's not possible, right? This one... No. It just doesn't work. Yep, this one. Huh? Invalid shape. Merger, of course. Point it away. Is that what the hell? I don't get this. It's too short. The new splitter. I don't like this. No, they. I don't think they can stack now. Nope, no stacking. I am not a fan of this one. Let's see. What about the splitter? Well, I'm not a fan of the fact that I can't place it. One, two, one, two. This damn well should be possible, but it has invalid shape. The conveyor belt is too short. That is horrible. Can't place the belts. See, it. I don't even know which end it snaps to. I don't think it snaps to this one. I think it snaps to... Oh, I can try to do this. Well, that was mildly annoying. Thank you. Straight in. Everyone's happy. Almost. 
and we just need a power pole somewhere in between. Hold on. 30 per minute, that sucks. I feel that I should still make it in Mark II. Nah, I can I can upgrade when I can, when I need it. Oh, I have to remember. I am not getting my brakes normally, so I have to set them up. I'm just gonna take the break at Thirty-four minutes until break. We can endure. We can persevere. Is it still full? It's still full. It's crazy. It's not really using enough concrete somehow. Some idiot changed the hotkeys. Decided we didn't like that option, but we are going to take it in here. That's good. And oh, now we built the one that we oh, still the static noise generator not need it. Oh, hold on, that's not working. I see you until midnight or longer. I'm probably gonna accidentally gonna stream longer than midnight. I wonder if this location is even wired up. Is it? No, that sucks. So I have this glorious location, but it does not have any power. Has this respawned or have I just never gotten that one? It just seemed unlikely that I never really got that one. Um, see, this is going to be absolutely ruined if I use it as a power pole lane. I like that one being in the middle, but having things in the middle is horrible. And I don't think I'll be driving much. As much as I, as much as it's fun to see the old derpiness of, uh, of, of the train, of, oh, too long. Then I just, I'm just not a fan of the vehicle automation. I don't think it's good enough to, to warrant any usage. Anyone know what Shun is playing when a hard drive is finished returning the map? Oh no. And I probably should listen to it because they have a tendency to use copyrighted music, which absolutely sucks. The trailer, copyrighted music. So if you put the Factorio trailer on anything in YouTube, boom, demonetized or copyright claims. And the copyright claims, not exactly fun, fun stuff to deal with. So thank you very much. You could have... Uh, prevented that by have using your your awesome sound uh, music designer Yannick to die, make it instead of just stealing something online. A little pet peeve, not really thinking about uh, us mere mortals who, uh, us poor content creators. Yeah, I, I know, not much sympathy to get there. Hold on, this is not work. Uh, 
They have not licensed it for their own trailer. I can absolutely 100% guarantee you that they do not have a license to, well, they've licensed to use it for themselves, but they do not have a license to, uh, or basically, maybe they say, oh, can we use it for the trailer? I say, yes, pay some money, fine. However, they don't have a right to use it because if anything going up on YouTube with that trailer on gets demonetized, it gets uh, copyright claims which probably includes their own stuff and they just accept that that's just the way it is. Why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, that's not how it's supposed to go. How it's supposed to go in here. Because you can't... If you have something that's... Uh, ugh, what, what am I doing here? What am I... I'm here, maybe? Because there will be uh, automated copyright uh, takedown notice or basically that's not how YouTube is doing it anymore what they do is uh, they just say yeah that's awesome but you're not gonna make money off of it because now if you pay play two seconds of a of a song then it's just like oh yeah congratulations your video now belongs to someone else and you can still have it up but you don't make money on it not that it like one factor one satisfactory video is not gonna do much but um, it's the whole concept, and, and I'm not the one who's hit the most because, trust me, I'm not making money off of, uh, of YouTube in any uh, meaningful way. But the people who actually put their heart and soul into, into this, that sucks. One, two, yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? That's gonna be whining about too close. Imagine just working, uh, I'm not sure that's 100% correct. One, two, so we just need this one. Like making a really popular video and then you use like two seconds of something and then just, nope, it's not yours anymore. Of course, you can just print it, but yeah, I'm not really a fan of copyright. messed it up. Of course I did. There you go. Uh, the merch just got revamped. So this. We do that one okay and we do it like the other one and we run up that one I think let's see looking fine some walls. Like this. And go straight in. That's perfect. All of these are almost ready. Just need to do that one at 50%, unfortunately. 
It is 50%, right? Yeah, I get 60 in and this is still too much. There we go! Sorry chat, and you yeah, gotta go. Okay, well, that's a short stay. Should it be I guess not because that's also too close I'm sure that's too close that is so annoying I'm not a fan of that hello Jake my first stream on twitch you can use me to start twitch I'm all the way from South Africa okay I hope the um, the connection is holding up if you have four at 50%, why not just have two at 100%? Uh, it's less power and then I can easier scale up because then I just crank it up to 100%. That's the reason. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. It is a mod modest fellowship, but it's becoming less modest day by day, I hope. And that is our Winkle, our V Winkle. Thank you very much and for three months. Thank you for the three. And I guess room for scaling is a good thing. Yep, absolutely. Ah, we just ran out just before. Which unfortunately means we have to go to the next one. This one goes one, two, and then we go this way. I don't know if I need to. I think I'd, I'd like to have like one tile between them. Like, like this way, should be the middle. And this is where it goes in. One, two. Did I make it? Yes, I made it. And I guess the new MO is we are using the doors instead, doors instead of uh, on conveyor walls because conveyor walls don't seem to work anymore. As one of my go-to streamers, YouTube too for Victorian Satisfactory. Have you played Rise of Industry or have any inputs? No, I have not. I, I barely even know what it is. There are so many games out there. So. Right, so next one, this is power. Oh, they are not connected, are they? No, they're not. Not yet. Let's make sure they're connected before we do anything else. Hmm. I guess this is the least bad position. is hooked up and there should be power here yes 600 exactly well uh, not actually exactly but we'll, uh, we'll we'll call it 600 it is 600 because I have 12 power plants over here but in actual fact they can't con they will consume slightly more than the belt can handle if we get to 60% so it will eventually run out if we're at 60% so it's more like 550 or something like that. I'm going to need to scale it up before that becomes an issue. So I'm really, really tired. So I better go now. Good night, everyone. Okay. Thank you for keeping us company just for a bit. A new 
subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. It does indeed. Thank you very much, Feros1. Subscribed for two months with a two month streak. I wonder if sometimes it says those streaks, and sometimes it doesn't. I don't really know when or why or how. There you go. Now that should be hooked up. Get that one in, and then I take. Are they coming? Oh yeah. 30 from each. That should be 60. That'll be a full belt. It's good. Thanks to Zing Cabbage for my first month. Now it's on me. Oh, that's nice. He'll uh, too bad that he didn't Oh, hold on. I will just take a little snap of that one. And so you can see. That'll make him all warm and fuzzy inside. There you go. So sometimes it works in, in terms of uh, using the gift subs to entice people to join the community. But I have found that more often than not, it's not the case. Hello, do you know when the game gets updated in the non experience No, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, Cherry, so... Oh, Ebo, that's about the rise of industry, I guess. Um, it should be something that someone like me should play and give you uh, give you a video about what my thoughts about it. I don't know. Should I do more game reviews? I, I don't really know. I'm uh, The reason why I haven't done game reviews so far is because I don't like game reviews that have are staying like yeah, I played it for a couple of hours and it seems shallow and the mechanics are complex like no no you didn't give it a chance imagine people playing Factorio for a couple of hours and then evaluating it no but then by the time you've played 200 hours I feel I'm I'm in a position where I could do a review of satisfactory but who cares about a review of satisfactory because everyone's been playing it yeah exactly stationary I'm not gonna write a a review of stationary because my experience w is not doing it justice uh, that looks wrong. Is it really like that? Did it really build it like this? Oh yeah, there's a little platform up there for viewing. But I also know that I don't know enough to... Go and say it. I have an initial impression and that initial impression has led me to not want to play anymore. But I don't want to feel that I could do it justice in sort of the depth of it. And that's why I won't do any review of that. But I could do a review of Anno 1800 or uh, Close to the Sun or Oxygen Not Included, Satisfactory. You know, I prefer watching your in-depth gameplay videos because you get to really know the game and I end up learning a lot. And how better to play it. Yeah, thank you. I mean, you're, you're right, but they can always be additional things, right? L Jake, Logan, uh, how, did, how this whole sub thing work? It's new to me. Well, they, um, the whole sub thing is completely voluntary, but it is a way to support me, yours truly. Uh, with a monthly subscription and for anyone who knows uh, who does anything monthly subscription is way nicer than one time because monthly subscription once you build up a certain volume then you can look at it and say this looks like it can pay my bills it can't but you can actually start relying on subscriptions at a certain point because they don't go donations go like this but subs should gradually go more like hopefully be more consistent. So that's why subscriptions are generally like Patreon. I am a big fan of Patreon and that's really my biggest, stablest income uh, at this point. Hey, Eastern Oscar, you off to bed as well? You guys are going to bed early when I stayed late. This should be the other way around, shouldn't it? 
All right, this is just taking forever for this to get in. I don't even know why I'm I'm standing here just holding a good friend in hand and uh, instead of going up here and building stuff. Woohoo! All right, so let's see. If I'm building modular frames, you stayed up until 3 a.m. yesterday. So what's the occasion for staying up until 3 a.m. yesterday? Oh, Jerry, yes, I... A generous bestowal. A generous bestowal indeed. Thank you very much, the Slasks. Thank you for the seven fifty. Seven dollars fifty. So happy I found oh. Need to go back. More shall gather. More shall enter the fray. So happy I found your channel, you know, it's great content every day. Thank you very much. I do try to make it every day and welcome Sergeant Pepper and the crew from Sergeant Pepperland. Welcome. How have you been doing? Have it been uh, Euro Truck Simulator or Satisfactory today? What is this? It's Tuesday, so it's a Satisfactory day for you? Yeah, and I do encourage you to check out the uh, Sergeant uh, Pepper. Is it Sergeant? No, it's Sergeant Pepper. Ah, there we go. There was a misspelling on that stenosco for some reason. Back into it. Are you liking the new experimental? Uh, I don't really see any difference, to be honest. I don't like the new, um, the new splitters. I am generally not a fan of them. They may look nice, but this thing is horrible. This thing here. You can no longer connect from the edge to a splitter in the middle. That is a massive setback. Not fan. So. Um, yeah, so, Sand Pepper, how... Um, if you don't mind me asking, I can also ask when I join your stream, but um, got some really nice, uh, some nice, what are we called? Promotion during April. Is that, that over now? Ooh, nice. Or is that just, and, uh, and did you like that? Uh, obviously. Psh. Yeah. Oh, it's over for now. Okay. Do you feel that it was of course it was worth it but the you got like massive exposure but you think like okay did it it didn't drop back to where you were before but it you got like a, a boost from from that right so it's like okay you get out there to a new audience and some of those from the new audience will stick around i hope otherwise it's kind of worth it okay so let me just for the people who just joined that's a lot of people who just joined a short brief summary of what this base is about this base is a relatively new base we are still we are at tier three four i have not gotten any steel yet um but my point is here this building here this tower is a hub where we have everything all the materials gathered they will be brought back here just for a shopping mall like esque and then we have a tower dedicated to one product and one product only so reinforced iron plate rotors and I'm now building the modular frames. The rule is that if, for example, for the modular frames, since that requires reinforced iron plates, I'm not allowed to build iron plates here. I must get them from the dedicated tower. And if I need more, then I have to build the tower bigger. And that's the concept all the way through. On top of that, we want to make sure that the Manta is flying very close to our buildings. And the idea is that we will have these very organized towers and then a lot of belts of spaghetti running around in the middle. That's basically right. Ah, Sentin Pepper. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much... Um, yeah, that's pretty much also my finding about the, uh, the promotion. You get a lot more... Just the crazy amount where you see... <laughs> on, like, spikes spikes on the number of, uh, of, of views because there's a lot of transit through the channel who just like click in and like, yeah, go on to the next one um, but that's um, 
That being said, you will find some new people. And I think a, a lot of the newer regulars actually got here during some of my uh, promotions. Unfortunately, I times I've gotten promotion, it was on the Nordic side, which is not really the best ideal situation. All right, so what are we doing? We are building a... See, we have... This is the reinforced iron plate, and this is iron ingots. So iron ingots need to go into constructors. <clears throat> I don't need to, I don't feel I need to build this particularly big. Just making iron rods, 15, so we definitely need two of those. What I really like is the fact that these can now be but really flush up and next to each other. And this needs to be scaled down to Taking one sixth off, that's 84. Yep. Is that something you have to pay for? Pay off? No, it's a part of a. Um, it is something you can sometimes get as a partner. It's a partner perk, but it's not something they in particular necessarily advertise for and it has to be sort of under special conditions and all that crap so not not happening a lot and again I can't put it in there basically with these new splitters I can I cannot build as compact as I used to it sucks Oh, I fucking hate the new splitters. Oh my god, I hate them. That means I can no longer build this. I have to build it. Uh, maybe it was because it was a merger. I should have built Alright, we'll do it this way. Now quit whining. All my turns must be 90%. That's also one of the rules I have, so that's why you see me uh, making some quirky things here. That one should be... I'll go here. There. That's straight. This one, mm, not really. But what if this one goes into this tile? This is the reinforced plates. That could go in here, and then it could go into, I don't know, maybe a splitter here? Could that go into this one without complaining too much? Yes. And that one. Yeah. These are two iron rods, 84%. And that was, uh, I'll just do the merger here. Why is it not? Oh, it's, it has to be like that. Forgot. Yep, that's good. This one. And that means we need... Oh, I'd really love to have a key where I can look, point at something and press Q, for example. And then I get that item in hand. It'd be so nice. And there. This is a nice and compact build. Let's get some altitude to look at it. Also, uh, nope, nope, that's not the way. You get it here. All right, so idea. Again, the colors. Iron rods, iron rods. 
This one will be reinforced iron plates. So two iron rods producing 25 iron rods per minute goes in. This one will then produce consume 25 plus 25. That's about 50. That's about all it can do. This one goes in, feeds into these two. It should be good. This one will now do the modular frames. 12. Well, eventually run at 24. Oh, I thought it was 25. Uh, that means it should be yeah, 12 each. Yeah. That's actually what I built. And this will now go out into a box. It can be done. It's just the snap points are bugged. The devs tried to patch two belts touching in different directions and choose this bug as a result. Yeah. Uh, I think some of the cases, yeah, but some sometimes you can then start from the splitter and go out, but me no happy. No happy at all. Um, well, I'm happy, but... And I think this is, this is exactly the kind of errors they need to be very, very careful of. Because it is so easy to rush out a new release and then accidentally introduce more errors than it had before. And it's such a classic from a, especially in the video game industry where developers are, let's just put it lightly, generally not treated very well. Though I do think that Coffee Stain Studio is probably not the worst place. And it's Sweden, so psh, you basically can't fire people there even if they don't do their work. Jace is living, breathing proof of that. You can't fire people in Sweden. It's impossible. And now we need this one to... I actually want it out on that side. Because I need... Whoops! Someone was cheating here. Oops. Don't mind me. Is it, did I out? No, up there I did it right. Exactly. Blame uh, <laughs> Blame me. Blame me. Uh, blame Jace. We don't blame Simon. Yeah, because Simon actually sometimes drops by this chat. It's actually been a while, but that's probably because he's uh, busy introducing new arrows to splitters, so he doesn't have time to come by here. Although I think he might sh should be. Do you see parallels in your job as IT manager and the way you build stuff in Satisfactory? No. Well, the one thing I see a strong parallel between the way I was IT manager and the way I build in, let's more specifically in Factorio than in, in Satisfactory, is do things right the first time. Almost everyone in Factorio makes shitty hacks and pay for it. Because Factorio is a game where you will always, always, always pay for your shitty hacks. And the trick is, no, build it correct the first time. It was like, I'll just build some blue circuits here. That's fine. And then sooner or later you have a giant base and it's all hinging upon a hack with some belts that just leech a bit off of something else and some boxes that are unconstrained and all that crap. And that's really... Satisfactory, not so much because basically you can build it really inefficient and then just wait and then it'll be fine. Uh, because very few things are specific in the amounts per minute. Building things in perfect ratio, which I tend to do, is honestly completely irrelevant in, in Satisfactory because you have infinite materials and the amounts consumed are so small for anything at this point, right? Now, what do we need now? Now we need to figure out where this one goes out. I think I'll just punch it out here. I find the same as a programmer. Yeah, I was being an IT manager to, to make it more specific. I was leading a development department. So it was not like just leading IT, but it was leading an IT software development and maintenance department. So. The fact that I also was responsible for maintenance made quite a difference. Oops. So much for me jumping down so I didn't take damage. Let's 
spending a couple of hours to plan out what you're doing yeah it's and that's exactly the reason why i feel that as a as a develop as a development manager was because this was what happened for the developers just make it quick and dirty and then you suddenly have production systems that are hinging upon a hack upon a hack upon a hack and every time someone needs to touch it you really need to fuel it with virgin sacrifice and satanic rituals just to figure out what the hell was going on in that piece of code because it wasn't supposed to last it was just temporary right you didn't need it it was just 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 do it now and then we'll go live and then we'll come back and fix it have anyone ever come back to fix anything unless it was because it now was the thing that caused everything else to crash and burn because you never really just say all right we built this hack let's go back and make it better it's always like uh, we built this hack and now it's threatening the company because of the instability now we go back and fix it and i'm not saying don't over engineer everything definitely not and that's where you need to have a good trust with the development team so you can ask them and good uh, architects to support can't afford are you kidding me oh yeah okay can't afford never mind um architects and lead developers who can judge when you don't need to build all the bells and whistles and so we just need to build something that works for the specific case And now I need a break, so we don't go into all corporate uh, corporate mode. Oh, and by the way, that I did. Me oh no, I'll I'll mention that like, afterwards, maybe. Right. Uh, let's see. What do we want to look at? What do we want to look at as our break is coming up? We can stay and look at the poison with the. Sun. Oh, look at that floor. We're definitely not looking at that. Let's look at something else. There we go. <laughs> We are not looking at something that is obviously not correct. There you go. I will take a three minute break, but don't worry, I'll be back. And I'll probably go a bit longer than until midnight because I started too late today. So make sure you stay hydrated and see you guys in three minutes.